I'm delighted and honoured to receive the Lifetime Achievement Award from Research Australia. The first people I'd like to acknowledge are obviously the wonderful young scientists who have come through the laboratory. Linda Richards, who's now a member of the Australian Academy, Deputy Director of the Institute, Trevor Kilpatrick, who's head of the uh, University of Melbourne's Institute of Neuroscience, and many, many more. Secondly, uh, I've had the wonderful privilege of being given the opportunity of establishing a new institute called the Queensland Brain Institute. We came with a, a terrific band of about eight to 10 people, and it's now grown to 500 people. And that's been possible because of this wonderful mix of philanthropy, state and federal government support, and obviously NHMRC and ARC support. I'm especially indebted to uh, the triumvirate of Chuck Feeney, the philanthropist, uh, John Hay, the uh, University Vice-Chancellor, and Peter Beattie, who continues to be a great supporter in Australia of biotechnology and research. I, I want to also say that one of the greatest delights uh, I've had in the last few years is being able to establish three joint laboratories with the Chinese Academy of Science in Beijing and with the Second Military Medical University in Shanghai. The Chinese view of science, I think, is the right view. Invest for the long term, invest in, in discovery science, where you're not always sure where it will lead. Believe that science is the basis on which society can solve problems. Over the next two to three years, we're taking several of the discoveries we've made into uh, addressing motor neuron disease with my close colleague, Andrew Boyd, and into dementia, where we're hoping that we can drive these productions of new neurons in the brain to not only slow this down, but reverse, in many cases, that cognitive decline. So once again, thank you very much, and I'm delighted to receive this award.